Monday morning, quick bin change over, and then we're going to clear a site of some leftover larch that someone doesn't want. I'm just going to shoot that with a three tonner in this bin, load it up and get it gone. Once that's in, we've got a changeover valve here. Pull that over and that locks those pins. And that's it clamped on. First load is out, head around back to the yard and get the telehandler. Mess there, mess there, mess there. Logs on there. You couldn't write it, could you? Came in, it's absolutely solid. And it's got a really weird slick layer of mud on top of it. And it just wouldn't allow us to push the trailer out. So, hey ho, one of them. I'm gonna grab the bucket and just have a Scrape up and tidy up through here for him. Yeah. One done, one to go. So there you go. We've had to, um, we fettled that out a bit. Leveled it off. Just gonna load this last load up. Gonna load it on the road this time. Learnt, them, learnt from the last mistake. And then we're kind of smooth our way out put it back to how it was, get back to the yard and wash everything back off again. Because everything was clean, right eh? So, Christian's just pulling out the smaller logs, putting them in the bucket. I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the bin and then put all that straight timber on top so we've got something good to strap off. And then we'll have a sort out in the yard of it. Stack all the cord up to dry out. Ready to chip. All the little logs can go onto the big log pile. Another job jobbed. It's definitely been a Monday though. Definitely a Monday.
Wednesday morning, just loading up to try and get out. We've got a site clearance up in Purley. So I'm just about to run the 30 yarder up for them. Drop that off, come back down, put the 20 yard bin on, and then head back over to the back of Seven Oaks where James is finishing a two day oak takedown that you saw yesterday. So yeah, logistics today with the MOG. Picking everything up getting everything clear. Let's go.
that's the first bin drop done out of Purley back to the yard and then over to the back of Seven Oaks So as you can see, the boys are getting on well, tops out, uh, we've just got log to go. Let's move you forward. Got James and Ryan up there. We made a little crash mat in the bottom of that bin. So Ryan's just sending his stuff straight off into the bin, which will save double handling. James is going to rig down his side, and then Bert's gone back to the yard, picked the Manitou up, and we're gonna lift the stems out with the telehandler. So hopefully, get this wrapped up in the next couple of hours. So I've got final stem coming down. We're gonna use the Manitou while it's here um, to pull that over. And then from that last video you've just seen loading into the bin, bins on the road. Little tidy up, the client's gonna keep some smaller logs. So we take the rest of the cord, have a blow, have a clear up, trim off any broken laurel so that can reshoot. And then that's us done for the day. side There we are, on site, we've broken in. See the truck there, come through the laurels. Put the path down to there. This pine's about to be knocked over by Nathan. That pile of soil you can see in the back, that's all got to be leveled out. And then the oak tree in the far left is coming out. And that's it for this one. <laughs>
We've had a bit of a late start here this morning, so, but we're just going to get the last bit of this oak out. Nathan started on that. Again, absolutely bottomless. Another muddy, wet site. Just what we need. See the digger struggling to even just get up that little slope. When will it end? Nathan's just up in here, starting to strip out, ready for tomorrow. And leave some nice rigging points in so we can rig everything out of that shed. All coming down nice and long for the digger to pull it out. Trying to make the job as easy as we can. You can see how tight the access was here. That was one wheel of the trailer and the other wheel was right up against that. That was a hell of a squeeze in, but we're there. So that's a wrap for this week, guys. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Keep up with the journey and tuning in next week to see what is going on here and why we're so close to the M25. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.